What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. Hey, this is just me a quick, short video. I know I leave you guys for like a long time without videos, and then I'll pop up and then like drop a whole bunch. You know, I do the same thing on Twitter. I'll drop like a bunch of tweets at once, and I won't come back for a week. It just it is what it is, man. ADD and all that stuff. So anyway, I'm dealing with a one-to-one -one situation. I'm gonna keep this as anonymous as possible, but I found the information so relevant that I, I found it necessary to, sh to share it here. So I got a, a brother, brother in Islam, um, who is married to, to multiple women. And one of his wives has, and he's dealing with like a situation of reduced sexuality in the house or sexual interaction in the house. And um, one of the women, she has a legit medical excuse, not, you know, where she can't perform. She literally, you know, cannot. And the other one started working and then now she's telling him he's tired and it's that she's tired and it's that the other, and, you know, she's just, oh, I'm so whatever, I'm tired. Let me tell you something, guys. Um, this is like a ma major red flag for the one that's like denying you, you know, um, these are the type of things you gotta look out for. And this is why I'm making this video because you guys gotta understand these things. If it was like within the bounds of like what I consider to be Islamically acceptable, I post these videos that people send me all the time. I got a video of a lady on an airplane. She's riding this dude on an airplane, like in the seats. You can like, literally like next to people. They're literally in an airplane and she's banging the guy in the seat. There's a video of a lady giving head to a guy on an airplane to Mallorca. There's a video of this lady at the counter at McDonald's, taking her food from the server at McDonald's and her man's behind her smashing. There's a video of a lady. I just got this one like yesterday. She's on a train, riding in a train, riding on a guy on the train. And she's like really like, She's really trying to get that sucker in there, you know. Um, a woman who's highly attracted to you will not miss the opportunity to have sex with you. She will not miss the opportunity to consolidate her opportunity to, uh, you know, close the deal on a guy. It's just how it is with women. When they want to bang you, they will find a way. They will not care about anything else. They don't care about shame. They don't care about public shame. They don't care about nothing. They, when they find a man that they are highly attracted to, they will bang the crap out of you anywhere at any time. I'm not bragging, but that's my household. I, I literally, I, I say to my girl's face, I call them horn dogs. I'm like, you horn dogs. I mean, cause this is literally what I'm dealing with. And I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm quite happy with my sexual situation where they're like all over me all the time. But when a woman is highly attracted to you, let there be no question. She's not going to miss our opportunity to fuck you. If she is not screwing you and she's making excuses not to screw you, she wants to screw somebody else. Somewhere along the line, attraction has been lost and you need to take action. Um, take action by way of leaving the relationship or, you know, planning to leave the relationship, finding a, an alternative, you know, following up with a plate, which will have results that you want. Or take action in terms of finding out what went wrong and fixing it. And if you're playing your cards right, it should have results. But either way, you know, something is severely wrong if she's not trying to bang you. She wants to bang somebody. Let there be no question. And this is another problem that a lot of Muslim guys have. It's like they make the apotheosis, you know, of women. And they act like Muslim women don't want to have sex. You know, like if you have to be some sort of guy to like convince her to want to have sex. No, they want to screw, dude. They want to get down. There's not one of them that doesn't want to like you know, pull that thing out on you and like put it on you if you're the right guy. So something went wrong somewhere along the way. If this is your situation, women will find a way to bang you if they want to bang you, especially if you're married to them. If she's making excuses not to bang you, there's a serious problem and something has seriously gone wrong. You really need to look at it as to whether or not you want to salvage this situation or if you want to just scrap the situation. Pick one, take action, but know the red flags. I talked about this in my video on VG, VJJ stays on deck. You know, I made that is another similar, a similar situation with, with a different brother, you know, so um, just something to think about, something I want to share with you guys. You know, um, these are serious red flags that you need to look out for when you're in a relationship. If you want to do with women and you want to be in a relationship with women, look out for the flags, red flags. And that right there is a red flag. It's a waving one with like red magnesium flares at night with glow in the dark red flag one of those big red glow in the dark pew, thing shot in the air that's like that's serious anyway this is your man Abu American catch me on Instagram Twitter Facebook all that Abu American don't forget to hit like and subscribe I'm out